Hey, it's Dan Emmons, and this is Bite Size Blockchain. Today's episode is a simple rule. If you control your keys, it's your Bitcoin. If you don't control the Bitcoin keys, it's not your Bitcoin. You'd be back to a master-slave relationship with a bank. Bitcoin represents a fundamental transformation of money, an invention that changes the oldest technology we have in civilization, and changes it radically and disruptively by changing the fundamental architecture into one where every participant is equal and a transaction has no state or context other than obeying the consensus rules of the network that nobody controls, where your money is yours and you control it absolutely through the application of digital signatures and no one can censor it, no one can seize it, and no one can freeze it. No one can tell you what to do with it or not to do. It's a system of money that is absolutely transnational and borderless. Many people are using a service like Coinbase.com, a private company that allows its members to buy and sell digital currency by setting up an account that looks very similar to a traditional banking interface. It does a really good job of introducing the public to purchasing Bitcoin for the first time and provides user-friendly interfaces to make it appear like you are working directly with your Bitcoin by buying, sending, or receiving digital currency. But it's really hiding a lot of the details that are going on behind the scenes. Coinbase.com has full control over your private keys and even hides them from you. You believe you have full access to your Bitcoin. This isn't just a problem with Coinbase, it's a problem with the majority of digital exchanges on the internet. You may have heard about the clown exchange known as Mt. Gox, where customers of that exchange were left empty-handed, and it turned out their cold storage was never really offline and ended up losing most of everyone's money. You may have also heard recently of some problems that have occurred at other trading exchanges online. When you don't control your private keys, they are held by some centralized exchange, which can be run by bad actors, thieves, or even hacked because those exchanges have a large enough bounty, it's worth it in the hacker's eyes, to get into those systems by any means necessary. Even if you currently trust a facilitator like Coinbase, who operates in the United States, their entire operation could suddenly be stopped by a U.S. government entity against their will. Access to your keys, and thus access to your Bitcoin, could be shut off permanently. You might like the convenience of purchasing through a facilitator like Coinbase, but if you want to protect yourself from those types of centralized exchange attacks, you must control your own keys. There are some consequences to this new level of empowerment we get as a result of this radical change. If you control the keys, it's your Bitcoin. If you don't control the keys, it's not your Bitcoin. Your keys, your Bitcoin. Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. Your keys, your Bitcoin. Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. Here's the problem. A lot of people don't even know if they control the keys to their Bitcoin. Many people have their Bitcoin stored on an online account where a site or service controls access to the Bitcoin associated with the account. It's okay to start there. It's not okay to stay there. If you don't know if you are in control of the keys, you probably aren't. It's okay to be naive, but please do not stay ignorant to what is true about access to your Bitcoin. If you don't control your keys, it's not your Bitcoin. If you're running a Bitcoin wallet where you started that wallet, it told you something like, write down these 12 words and keep them as a backup. The reason it is important to fully back up and secure those words is because they are used to generate the private keys used to digitally sign transactions for your Bitcoin address. If you lose those words, you lose the private keys, which control your Bitcoin. If you forget to write those down, someday you lose those phones or drop it in the toilet or suffer a hardware crash, there will be no access to your keys when you forget where they are. There's no Bitcoin help desk. If you lose your keys, there's not a person on earth that can help you recover them. They're cryptographically impossible to reproduce, for reasons we described in the episode called Bitcoin Security Unbreakable. We'll go over several other methods of backing up your keys in a future episode, but for now, start doing some research on this topic immediately. In order to protect your assets today, download a digital wallet like Edge, formerly known as Airbits, or an app called Coinami. What's the most important part of Bitcoin security then? Again, if you control the keys, it's your Bitcoin. If you don't control the keys, it's not your Bitcoin. Please subscribe, like, and share.